on God working working things out on your behalf. God is going to change the circumstances, situations that you're in. Right now, you are getting blessing on top of blessing. And these people are seeing. What? Yes, sir. We're going to go to the park later. These people are seeing how God is blessing you. They're watching. Don't never think that they're not watching. They're watching in regret on how they mistreated you, how they mishandled you, how they misjudged you, and how they tried to play you. These people tried to play you. These people thought that you were weak-minded. These people thought you were dumb. These people thought that you were a nobody. You understand what I'm saying? And people fell to realize, y'all got to stop trying to think that people are nobody. Stop looking down on people. Because you don't know who people are. You don't know who people are to God. You don't know how God how God is. God don't play about his people. God does not play about his people. God loves his people. He loves all his people. And that's what people fail to realize. People fail to realize that they cannot just do anything. These people try to do any and everything to you. Any and everything to you to isolate yourself, to make you feel like you wasn't worthy. These people, these people did not want you to have the title that you hold. These people did not want you to be the person that you are. The people did not want you to be the queen. They did not want you to take your rightful position from your family to lovers to fake friends. They also uh, spread it lies gossip and all that. Your family tried to come against you. Your family tried to say this and say that about you. Your family tried to make you out to be a bad person. Lovers tried to make you be as a bad person. Neighbors, they made false cases, false claims on you. They kept, listen, people were calling and saying so much of false stuff about you and about what you had going on to, hey, people started watching them. Hey, they started watching the people. They started tracking the numbers who were making these false cases and false claims. They was getting their they friends to be some crash dummies to try to come against you. Now them same friends that they try to use to come against you, they losing everything. Them friends isolated themselves from them because of the simple fact these people see that you don't bother nobody. These people see that you you don't mess with anybody. These people seeing you stand in your lane. These people seeing all the rest of this, but these people kept lying. These people kept trying to destroy you. Kept trying to assassinate your character. Kept trying to make you out to be a bad person. Somebody that you're not. You know what I'm saying? These people see that you are a giver. Someone who will help anybody somebody who's there for anybody but guess what that people they were behind the scenes trying to hurt you and those same people that they use behind the scenes are going to be the same ones that get on the stand to testify against them on the things that they were doing for you or the same people who was working behind the scenes to help you because they tried to track you up and put you in situations it's the same people that's writing statements on them that are telling the truth about things that are really happening and how the things happen and why these people were lying on you and when these people took place see this is what they fell to realize they thought they had a friend you heard me they thought they had a friend in somebody else but they didn't realize that you had a friend in jesus Okay, they didn't know that you had a friend in Jesus, and that when they came against you, God showed the people that they teamed up with you, He showed them something. You heard me, and He showed those people that they buy right, they better do the right thing. So, what those people did, those people contacted authorities and let authorities know what was being done to you behind the scene. Let authorities know about how these people was trying to hurt you and harm you and your children. They let these people know everything that was going around. So you're getting, re you're getting ready to be rewarded. You're already rewarded in a spiritual realm. You're getting ready to be rewarded for in the physical realm. Some of y'all are getting ready to get financial blessings in court cases of millions of dollars by the things that people have done to you, by the lies, the stuff that people try to hit keep hidden that was done to you. I want y'all to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Hold on. Just hold on a little while longer. I know it get rough. I know it get tough. I know y'all tired. You understand what I'm saying? I know y'all tired, but you know what? We're fighting battles that are not ours. We're fighting battles that are not ours. God wants us to continue to press forward. He wants us to continue to be in the best version of ourselves and continue to do everything in love. Because he's taking care of our enemies. He's taking care of these people who counted us out, who wanted us to fall, who did these things just thinking that they, they was going to hurt us, thinking that they was going to destroy us. God is fighting all the battles for us because God loves us. He's here for us. He is making a way out of no way for us. All we have to continue to do is press forward. All we got to continue to look up to the hills which come with our health and our health coming from Lord. Okay, baby. Hold on one second, okay? Can you hold on? Can you hold on till we get where we going, please? Thank you. Um, 
All you have to do is just hold on to God's unchanging hands and allow God to work it out. And I know, listen, these people did stuff to y'all. And, you know, walk with your head high. When some of the stuff come out that people have done to you and all the rest of that, walk with your stuff high. These people try to expose you. These people try to do all kind of stuff, make you just look like you was just a horrible, nasty, trifling, unfit person. These people, they just did all kind of stuff. Stuff they didn't even have to do because they were jealous and envious of you. And now so much is going on by them. Like I told you. These people either going to be carried by 12 or 6. <laughs> pick and choose your battles, but make sure you pick and choose them wisely. And these people didn't pick and choose their battles wisely because they came up against a chosen one. They came up against an anointed one. They came up against someone who had their calling on their life. Somebody who sits, yes sir, I hear you. Someone who sits at the right hand of God. Yes, baby, I'm going to take care of it. Hold on, wait till mommy gets to stop. I'm in traffic right now. I'm sorry, you guys, about that. You got to make sure that you know that you know that you know what's going on baby listen a lot of people's not understanding how you win it they're not understanding they're not going to understand the reason why they're not understanding because they're spiritually blind you were dealing with people that was these people were spiritually blind who went against you them people don't know god they don't know nothing about god they don't even believe in god but he but he gonna show them he is the great i am touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm he said and since they thought that you was a nobody they found out all around that you was a somebody, a chosen vessel, a gifted vessel, somebody who has you, somebody God has given the wisdom, the knowledge, the words, a seer, somebody that sees something before it even happened. You tried to warn these people, you heard me? You tried to warn these people, you told these people to leave you alone. These, You told these people that God is going to take care of them. You told these people that. Go, Jermaine. You told these people that. These people did not listen. They didn't listen. They did not listen to you at all. They did not listen to what God had for you. They did not listen. But God, you told these people who you are. You gotta tell these people you were praying for them. You told these people you were interceding for them. You told these people that uh, you forgive them because they know not what they do. But they didn't, they didn't believe you. They didn't believe you. They just kept doing stuff. Still trying to do stuff. They still trying to do stuff to hurt and harm you. They still, they're not learning their lessons. And guess what? That's why some of them is about to get in some terrible things. They're about to get in some terrible things because they keep doing it. They keep doing keep playing, keep trying to cause mishap in your life. Keep trying to tell you down. Keep trying to set traps up for you. These people got people watching you. Watching your house, reporting your every move. And guess what? Those people that are watching them is working with the police on them. They don't even understand that. They don't even understand that. So a lot of people got a lot of people need to stay woke. See, you woke already. You woke. You woke. God is, is revealing everything to you. And God is telling you, baby, hold on. Change is coming. Hold on just a little while longer to my unchanging hands, God is telling you. God is telling you, I'm going to make every crooked path in your life that was ever crooked straight. God say, every tongue that rised up against you, everyone that came against you is going to see you. You heard me? Because I'm going to set you up on a position so high. <laughs> hey, they can't reach you. I love you too, baby. They can't reach you. They can't, they can't reach you. And these people know that they can't reach you. These people know that they can't reach you. These people know that they're not on your level. These people know this already. They know this already. They know that. That's why they try to tell you down. That's why they try to say, what? What, baby? Okay, you have to hold on because there's a lot of traffic and I'm driving. Can you give me a second till we stop? You have to, uh, I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, you have to, y'all know I got a baby. And y'all know I'm going to say about my baby. But um, you have to know that that these people, they're seeing. They're, they're, they're really seeing. These people, they're really seeing. And they're scared. They're trying to run away, away from their karma. They're trying to run away from these consequences. Some people are going to try to go on and run. But they do not know that they're going to be apprehended. They're going to pay. This is, and this is crazy. This is the crazy part about it. Not only are they paying spiritually, they're about to play physically too. Okay? Sickness in their body. Prison sentences. They're about to pay one way. Man, the Grand Reaper is here to collect. The devil won't hear us. You heard me? And God's going to get his off the dump. So these people are playing. They're playing double. Karma ain't just beginning. They're just getting a little whiff of the karma, man. Karma ain't hitting them like it, it ain't hitting them just yet. They're just getting a little, a little whiff. They're about to get some surprise knockings on them doors. You heard me? Some surprise. Uh, kick-ins, boom, 
They're about to get some surprise kick in, some surprise pull up on some job, some surprise termination papers, some surprise video cameras of showing them stealing funds. They got this from charity. You heard me? Trying to come for you, but stealing funds from charity. Man, come on, bro. Gotta be better than that. Gotta be better than that. How you trying to come for somebody else and you stealing from charity? You heard me? You stealing from the hopeless and the, the homeless people. But they, they want to come for you. Man, come on. They doing all kind of stuff behind the scenes. Thinking that nobody don't know. You heard me? They, uh, people in high position. Just the crazy part about it. These people in higher positions than you, you heard me? Higher positions than you hating on you. Teaming up against you. Got a whole foundation, a whole little business, they whole little LLCs, the whole little business. Some of them going to jail for Medicaid fraud, you heard, they heard me? They business is going down because they want to thank somebody they friend and team them up with their friend against you. Team up with their friend against you, not knowing that God's showing you everything that they're doing, you heard me? So they want you to shut up. They want you to be quiet. You heard me? Some of them are going to try to come pay you some hush money so you can shut your mouth up. And you better not take it. You heard me? Don't take no money. Don't settle for nothing. You take them to court. We ain't selling out of court on nothing. You heard me? They want to come pay you in private when they did all this stuff to you publicly. Nah, don't fall for the okay. Don't be nobody fool. Don't let nobody cut your uh, short, the bird feed your short change. Get what's rightfully yours by all means necessary. Get what's rightfully yours. All the lies and slander they did try to take you down, try to make you out to be something that you're not, man. You get what's owed to you. Get what's yours. Because God's going to bless you. He's going to bless you, you heard me? And man getting ready to bless you too for all your heartache and pain and hurt and stuff that you've been through with these non factors. That's who they are. There's some non factors in your life and they wanted to be relevant in your life. So that's why they was doing all these things to you. Because they wanted to be relevant in your life so bad. So that's why they start talking about you. Didn't even know you. You heard me? Didn't even know you. And, and they didn't know you, but they, they didn't know you, but they lied on you. Didn't know you at all. And so, so many lies on you. Try to discredit who you were. Try to discredit your credibility. Try to discredit as you, who you was as a woman or a man. As a mother or a father. These people try to do all these things to you to try to make themselves look and be something that they would never be. You are an empress or an emperor. They could never, when I say nothing, I mean never. Stand on side of you, sit on side of you, or none of that. And that's why they mad. That's the real reason why they mad. You see, they won't, they won't tell the truth. You heard me? They won't tell the truth. A male or female, they won't tell the truth why they was talking down on you because they was in love with you and they couldn't have you. They couldn't have you. So they felt bad because you shot their ego down. The male or the females was talking about you because they was mad because your name held weight in somebody's heart who they love. And that person didn't love them the way that they love you. And they, they felt bad. They felt belittled. You heard me? But that wasn't your fault and they, it's your problem, but they took it out on you. They wanted to send harm and danger to you because of how somebody else loved you and how somebody else felt about you and they wanted that person to love and feel about like that about you. They recognized how people was always praising you. People was giving your flowers now and they didn't like how people was giving you your flowers. So they want to, they want to cut you off. They want to belittle you. They want to make you feel like you wasn't worthy and you wasn't this and you wasn't that. But God, but God, God showed up and he showed out. God is going to continue to show up and show out on your behalf. That's what he's going to do. He's going to continue to show up and show out on your behalf. So you just allow God to do his work and his will and take care of you. And that's what he's going to do. Mama. Yes, baby. Hold on. God's going to take care of you, and God's going to make a way out of no way like he is for you. Y'all are very blessed. And I want y'all to always remember Mama, how blessed... What? Yeah, I see him over there. I want y'all to always remember how blessed y'all are, because y'all are very blessed. And who God has blessed can't no man curse. Y'all storehouses is running over. When I tell you it's your season, it's your season. Get ready to reap all the harvests that God has for you. It's your girl, Bree. I love you guys. I wish you guys a blessed and prosperous day. Um. Yeah, just 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 hold on, y'all. Just hold on. Conversation is coming your way. You're about to be paid, paid it forward. You heard me. You're about to be paid. New doors of opportunities, new blessings is coming your way. Just hold on to God's unchanging hands. Don't give up. Don't give in. You heard, and don't settle. Peace.